Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Rainy days and Monday mornings. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. It is wet out there. And we're going to tell you what has happened coming up in this edition of your primetime forecast. But first, don't forget, click that link at the top of this video so that you can get that cost-free, no-obligation insurance quote from Jamie Dukas. You could be a big winner with uh, Dr. Don's weather and also with Alpha Insurance because you're going to save a ton of money. Of course, you'll win the Dr. Don Weather app. You're also, also going to pick up a car freshie from KL Car Charms coming up in future drawings. Uh, our next one, as a matter of fact, we're going to be giving away more of those $25 gift cards from Corner 56 over in Wadley and Meadows Farm Equipment on Highway 431, just south of Weedowie. So get your name in the hat by getting that cost free, no obligation insurance quote today. Also, don't forget to follow us over on uh, on the YouTube. Subscribe and click that little bell so that when we go live for severe weather, you'll get notification. Uh, so we are looking at a marginal risk of showers and thunderstorms across East Alabama and West Georgia today, though I think the better chance of seeing any severe weather is going to be across Middle Georgia, uh, maybe Northeast Georgia, and then up into the Carolinas as this tropical system continues uh, to move through the area later on today. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, to the latest graphic from the National Weather Service office out of Birmingham, uh, seeing uh, an outlook for marginal risk of severe weather there across Randolph, Chambers, Tallapoosa, and Lee. Again, we've got the center of low pressure moving through East Alabama, or it will be around mid-morning today. And as soon as that pushes on into Georgia, that risk for severe weather uh, will wane pretty quickly. I think the better chances will be middle Georgia, eastern Georgia, and up into the Carolinas. We do have a wind advisory that's in effect until 1 o'clock this afternoon. Pretty much all the counties across East Alabama and West Georgia are covered by this. Uh, winds will be sustained at 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts occasionally up to 40 miles per hour. So here's what's happened, folks. Uh, during the overnight, that uh, area of interest down in the Gulf of Mexico made landfall there uh, around Orange Beach, Alabama, somewhere between there and, and Pensacola and it's continued moving to the north northeast and you can clearly see feeder bands coming off the Gulf of Mexico wrapping around the right hand side of the storm you can clearly see uh, that center of low pressure rotating there around Montgomery Alabama uh, this is just a classic tropical system didn't quite make depression status uh, before it made landfall or it was certainly right there uh, on the fence it could have gone either way uh, but the hurricane center is calling this invest 90l this morning as it continues moving off to the northeast basically what does this mean for east alabama and west georgia lots of rain and that's a good thing and then some gusty winds from time to time of course that could be enough uh, to cause some sporadic power outages across the area we're not anticipating anything widespread and we're not anticipating any widespread issues from this weather system this morning uh, there's the official track it like I said came in there uh, somewhere around the western side of uh, eastern side of Mobile uh, maybe around Dolphin Island Orange Beach Gulf Shores and it will continue moving to the northeast right across East Alabama and then across North Georgia later on uh, this morning and that is the official uh, latest graphic from the National Hurricane Center uh, with that X down there across the Gulf of Mexico uh, showing where the storm actually made landfall. Current conditions across East Alabama from Five Points, the East Alabama Bee Company. It is rainy. We have 66 degrees. Yesterday's high was 86. Wind is out of the east, southeast at 2 currently, but gusting up to around 25 to 30 miles per hour, or it will be. Humidity 98%, the barometric pressure 30.06. Uh, as of this reading, we've had 0.76 inches of rain. Uh, that total is probably closer to one inch by now. Some of you have received more, some of you a little less. Sunrise this morning was at 535, and the sun sets this evening at 540 p.m. 
Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram at your fast forecast in 60 seconds or less from Dr. Don's weather. Here's your six-day forecast. It's going to be a wet start to your Monday showers and maybe even a clap of thunder from time to time across East Alabama and West Georgia. Windy conditions through about noon today. Uh, then we'll have about a, about a, our rain chances will drop off this afternoon, uh, but we cannot rule out the possibility of a shower even after this system gets out of here. Uh, it's going to be much cooler today, though. That's good. 74 will be your high. 60% chance of rain during the overnight. Then on Tuesday, it's going to be more of a summertime afternoon scattered thunderstorm pattern. We may see the sun during the morning hours, and then in the afternoon, we'll have a few showers and thunderstorms roaming around. 81 will be your high. Wednesday, we'll have another storm system influence uh, the forecast and give us some lift so that we can get some thunderstorms going. So we'll give you a 70% chance of rain, maybe a thunderstorm on Wednesday, 80% Wednesday night into Thursday. And then on Friday, we may start the day with a few clouds, maybe some mist and fog. Yeah, but that burns off by Friday afternoon, and right now, your Memorial Day weekend is looking mighty fine. We're talking uh, low to mid-80s Saturday and Sunday. You know, there's always that chance we could get an afternoon scattered thunderstorm, but right now, it looks like we will not have any systems moving through, uh, so it looks like a great holiday weekend on the way for East Alabama and West Georgia. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar, and this is what we're dealing with. You can very clearly see that center of circulation, a uh, low pressure system rotating there just north of Montgomery, Alabama. That is moving off to the northeast. It'll trek right across Coosa, uh, northwest Tallapoosa, maybe central and southern Clay, and uh, across Randolph before ending up in Georgia, somewhere between Heard and Carroll County later on this morning as that continues to move uh, directly toward Atlanta and then uh, maybe right up I-85 as we get into the afternoon hours. I expect the bigger thunderstorms today to be across middle and eastern Georgia, maybe northeast Georgia, uh, but windy conditions and more rain at least until noon today for East Alabama and West Georgia. Hey, don't forget to follow us over on the Twitter at DSTREN1040 is our handle. We broadcast all of our weather information there on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at Dr. Don WX. Dot com. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I'll see you back in here first thing tomorrow morning for another edition of your primetime forecast. Don't get outside and enjoy that rain. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.